Okay, so what we're going to talk about here is the posts. Now posts, you can call them what you want. You can call them blogs, you can call them news items, it doesn't really matter, okay? But this is where you get all your business from, okay? So uh, posts are basically, uh, you'll see here, when you install WordPress, you'll get a hello world, you can edit that or, or, or trash it, okay? But basically you've got um, all your news items are here and they're, and they're, uh, they're automatically sorted by, uh, archived by the date. So the latest one will appear at the top. You'll notice that if you've got a draft, uh, the draft will appear here, your deleted items will appear here, okay? Um, you can add a new one or you can edit an existing one. Um, you can create categories and tags. So the first thing you want to do is start with some categories, okay? So let's just say uh, events. We're going to create a category called events. Now you can have a parent and a child. Now how, how a parent and a child works is, is let's just say you want to have an events category and then below that you want to have an events category, a subcategory called, um, called local events and international events and blah, blah, blah. So you can create uh, children of that. Uh, of that parent, but for this case we won't worry. Now with the slug, it will automatically create it, so you don't need to put that in there, but if you want to have a, sp a particular uh, slug, you could do that. And it's always good to have a little short description for SEO. Okay, so let's just add that category, and there it is, it'll appear there. You'll see that no posts uh, appear in that category, and you'll find that on your on the sidebar, that won't appear until there's a post under it, as a, as a a um, in the widget area where it says what all the different categories. But anyway, let's just go with uh, with that, and let's let's create a new post, okay? So let's let's. This is the interface you see when you've got a post, okay? Now, depending on what theme you have, the interface will be a little bit different. But let's go to the screen options. Let's tick a few extra things here: the excerpt, discussion, and author, okay? So. Um, here, here you'll see these appear here, and you can drag and drop these in the order you want them. But the most important things you're going to see are this one here, and I always move this up to here, the featured image, okay? And that's going to be the image that, that goes alongside the post. Okay, so let's just start with a title. And we'll call this test post one, okay? And then you're going to put the content in. Now you've got two styles of editors, okay? You've got the text editor, and your visual editor. The visual editor is where you can do some prettiness and all that sort of stuff, but the text editor is where I do all my work because it's you learn a lot better code and you can clean things up a lot nicer. But anyway, you'll probably use the visual editor. Now, it's got the, the, the normal things you'll see in any word, dot, word uh, bold, italic, uh, strike through, uh, or, unordered list, uh, ordered list with the numbers. Uh, if you want to do a block quote, position the text left, center, right, I, I, I never touch any of those things, I think they're, and then you can link link text and all that. But anyway, let's. I'm gonna put some, some sample text in there, okay, that I prepared earlier, and you'll see visually how it all, how all this works, okay? So you'll see how visually the, the different types of information that I'll put in there. Now you'll see in here, you'll see things like um, post ha H1 tags and things like that. Um, but you don't need to worry about that. You can learn about those things and, and, and um, elsewhere, but it's just a good way. And I do just do a little bit of a clean up there so it's nice and clean. Okay, so basically there I'll put some text in there. Now if you're copying and pasting from Microsoft Word or, or, or similar, um, always make sure that you use the text editor to, to copy and paste. If you put the visual editor in, you'll see a whole lot of code junk that you don't understand and it will it could ruin your site. So the next thing that we have is we've got the title sorted out, we've got the text sorted out. What we want to look at is the category. So we select a category, okay, and then we tag it. So I'll, just as an example, just say I was writing about, um, um, I was writing about Ryan Seacrest. I don't know why that was the first person that came into my head. I never even watch any of those shows. But uh, so I would, I use tags only for, um, I use only tags only for people, places, product names, and things like that. And I always format everything with the first letter of each word with a capital capitalizing. Okay, capitalizing the first letter of each word because eventually you're going to have a lot of tags, and if they're all different. Uh, 
styles, it's going to look pretty horrible on your site. So you, you're best to start off with some format for that doing that. Now, you should just remember that tags, don't over abuse them. You know, if you don't have inside the post or title, you don't have the, 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 those words, you actually get a negative SEO score. If you've got the words that you're using in tags inside the, inside the body of the, of the article or the title, then you do score words, okay? Okay, so let's go through what I've done. I've done a title, I've done the, the, the content, I've selected what type of format it is. Remember the theme, you might not have this, if you've got a theme installed, it usually over, overrides this. Okay, you might not have this feature. But anyway, I click add for the, for the tag. And I can add multiple tags as well. I can uh, Sydney um, uh, Canon Sony like that, and I'll put a, 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 an apostrophe after each one. Sorry, a comma after each one, and then and then they go in there. Okay. So now we've got. Let's look at what we've covered: title, the description, the category. You can put them under multiple categories. With categories, if you've got more than ten, you you're overdoing it. You should keep them very simple. The categories for your users. Okay. Um, and then what we've got is we've got the format, if just with the basic WordPress you'll see this, and then tags, and then down here you can have an excerpt. Now an excerpt is, if, for instance, if on the homepage your article appears, these are the words that will appear under that article on the homepage. So you can copy the first paragraph if you like, or if you want to describe it, which I think is even better, if you want to describe the article, um, it takes a little bit longer, but if you want to describe the article, then that's a smart move as well. Okay. Um, but it's a very short bit of text you put in here. Now, are you going to allow comments, okay, um, on this post? And I always would, um, unless you don't want to. And trackbacks and pingbacks are where other people link to your website, so you can see whether they, they carry this content or link this content, okay? Um, but you can learn more about that at, um, later, okay? Now, if you don't put anything in the excerpt, WordPress or your theme will automatically pull a certain amount of text, maybe 150, 200 characters, or 300 characters, whatever, into it, depending on the style that they're using. So it'll just do it automatically. But if you really want to do well, then I would I would suggest you write a little short, you know, one line like this, um, introduction to each one, and try to make them all around the same size. Okay, so the last thing that we want to do on the post is, is uh, add a featured image. So I'm going to basically upload a file, and you'll see... You can, you can, you'll only be able to grab one file for this. You won't be able to grab multiple for your featured image. But you just click that, and then you click Set Featured Image, and then it'll appear here. Your theme, the the, the way your site's displayed, should automatically format that that uh, that image for you. Now, if you want to go a step further and include a gallery inside your theme, okay. So we're going to include a gallery inside here. What you do is select where you want the gallery to appear, and then you click Add Media, and then you upload the files. And let's just select these. And so it's going to upload all the images. Now you can do some extra work here if you want. You can put a title for each image. So if I select that one, you can see you can change the title. You can even put a caption, some alt text and a description for each image if you like. Okay, the more you do, the better the SEA is going to be, okay? But, you know, it can be time consuming and I understand that. See now that we've got all of the, uh, all those images in there and I'm going to click create a gallery and then I can select what images I want. All the ones ticked will be created for the gallery. I click create new gallery and you can put a caption on each image and how many columns you want within your page. I'm going to just select three and, um, and select the media file instead of an attachment page. And you can select random order if you want. Then you, you insert gallery. And notice the gallery is inserted where I put the mouse in here, okay? Now, so what we've done is we've covered all these things. We've covered the title, the, the description. We've created a gallery. We've created an excerpt. We've allowed comments. You don't have to do all of these, but the, the ones you will do, I'll explain at the end. You have to do. Featured image. We put it under a category. We've put the format we wanted and the uh, tags. Now the final thing is, when do you want to publish it? Do you, or do you want it to be a um, do you want it to be a, a pro password protected post or a private post? Private post means that it won't be displayed on your site. I, the link, will, the full page will be just post will be displayed, and you can copy the URL and send it to people. Password protected means someone needs a password to view it. Okay. And publish. 
So you can actually do forward publishing. You can say, I don't want that to be published for another, let's just say, and then it says, see how it says scheduled? Okay. Um, you can forward publish it for a different date and time, which basically means you can sit down and do four or five posts and have them go up at four or five different times during the week. So now I'm going to click on publish. And there we go. Now, if you want to look at a post, I, I suggest if you're using Google Chrome, you can just right click and, uh, and there you go, the Google Chrome browser. And that's how the post looks. All right. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Okay. So there's all different things. There's all this different stuff in there. But you can see how that post actually looks. Now, if you go to the home page of the, the site, you'll see how, the, how that looks as well. And then if we click on the post, you'll see how that looks. And you can see, the, you can see that it's, it's pretty basic, but that's basically how you, you write a post. Now, again, if you need any help, click down here, okay? It's got this information here on, how, on help. And this is for every section of the site. So there you go. That's how you add a post, add photo galleries, add a featured image, all, all the stuff you need to get started. And it's, it's quite simple, um, but if you, uh, if you need any more help, you just make a comment on the video. Thank you.